Okay, it's uh, my name is Ben Price. I'm from San Antonio. It's February of 2017. I have a bit of a cold, so I may sound funny. Today we're going to take a look inside the MF1X, the high-frequency uh, horn of the uh, PV Project 2 uh, system. Here's the uh, what one side kind of looks like uh, by itself, and the the unit we're going to look at is this uh, high-frequency horn here. So I pulled it apart. I, I got this system recently, last few days. I'm just kind of taking things apart and having a, having a look. I thought you all might be interested in, in seeing what's inside these these things. Here's the uh, what is apparently the original the original uh, uh, 22A driver PV driver for this horn. Amazing rust. I don't know. I have no idea where all the rust came from, but uh, it still works. I've had them hooked up and it seems to work fine. Uh, if you can read, I'll try to hold a steady read stuff on there. The uh, horn, it's a, I think it's fiberglass shell. It's in, it's in two halves here and stuck together. Oh, this, there's a screw right here. So I guess it's screwed together. Oh yeah, that's right. It's just screwed together. Two halves are screwed together. And uh, this is a, uh, this particular driver is a, a, a screw on. It's a screw on mount. So you just twist it and the screw's on. I twist it the other way, and it screws off. I can't do it with one hand, but um, I understand you can get these drivers pretty inexpensively if you need to replace them. Again, this one seems to be working fine, so we'll leave that alone. Uh, inside the box here, and again, I'm not sure if you can see this very well, but here's the uh, crossover. The, uh, the system has on the back has two inputs that are sort of full range inputs, and it has a, a uh, high input. If you're using a crossover, an external crossover, you can use the high input. It also has a low output uh, as well. So that's some sort of a crossover system here, and you can you can see that uh, pretty involved for a for a uh, uh, for what we're talking about. And the speaker connections are through these these uh, spade lug things. Again, the uh, w the wiring there's won't, won't be that much. Uh, a voltage in this in this thing, so the wiring is, is fine. Uh, the system looks it looks fine. Again, I don't think there was anything else in this box. I think this is the original. This is absolutely the original original way it came. So for today, we just wanted to take a moment and have a look inside this uh, MF1X uh, horn. I can show you the front, but you won't see much other than just the uh, front of the horn there. So uh, I got one more box to go, and that's the uh, the FH1s. Uh, I'm just taking these things apart, like I say, and having a look, cleaning them up a little bit, seeing if there's anything that needs to be fixed up, and then uh, pressing them into service. I play in a classic country band here in South Texas, so these uh, these systems, this system, this uh, PV Project 2 system, will be just fantastic for some of the larger venues we play. Uh, this is just uh, still wonderful. And the sound, I don't know, I'm an old guy, but the sound coming out of these horn systems, it's just beautiful. What a beautiful uh, well dispersed sound and it covers the whole spectrum and you know it's not top heavy bottom heavy just very very nice so uh, at any rate that's the story we'll let you go for the moment and we'll come back later with more uh, more interesting things on the old pv project twos bye now